Welcome to JN Equipment. Today we're going to show you how to assemble your proportioner. Uh, there's a few things that we're going to be focusing on here. Assembly, making sure that we have the parts in the proper order. The valves do need to be placed in the proper direction and we're going to be assembling these with the off and the up position. Also your Fittings, we're going to make sure that we uh, properly cover these with Teflon so that they're properly wrapped and that we have the check valves installed in the proper order. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wrap all of our components. Uh, one thing that I like to do on a new piece of um, Teflon tape, I like using the Monster brand tape. This is thicker. It's got a little bit of friction in there. So when you're tightening these up, you don't have to tighten them as hard to keep them from spinning. Um, and we tend to get much better seals using this. I also want to cut out the center of this to make it easier to spin as I'm installing. So I'm just taking a utility knife and I'm cutting out the, the center sticker that they put over the labeling and just putting that to the side. <clears throat> this top layer on a brand new pack it's got a little bit of like talc on it, so it's gonna be a little bit slippery, but after your first wrap, that's going to go away. Now, whenever you're wrapping any of these components, you need to make sure that you wrap this so that you're going against the direction of the turn. So when you turn this in, and you're turning in a righty-tighty to tighten this in, you wanna make sure that this tail of the Teflon is going in the opposite direction of the turn. Otherwise, as we screw this in, it's going to pull that Teflon back and prevent us from getting a proper seal. So the proper way to do this, I like to hold it in my left hand. I start off with the Teflon in my right. I make a start wrap. Doing this, my preference to get these tight is five wraps. I'll start and I go around once, going from bottom Oop, and see here we slipped off. We're gonna go from the bottom all the way up. As soon as I get crossed over here, that friction is gonna hold that piece in and now I can continue to do the rest of my wraps. So that's one. I'm gonna continue down to the lower part of this for two, stay in that line, three. I'm gonna do four and as I come around on this final wrap, I bring it back up to the front to about where I started. That is that fitting. We're gonna to continue to do all the rest of the threaded fittings that are going to go in here the same way. It's very important that you apply the same amount of Teflon to each piece because as you screw these in, that Teflon is gonna gauge how far these screw into each other. So it'll keep each one of these arms on the proportioner lined up evenly at the end. So let's go and continue to Teflon the rest of these. And one last time, very important that you get this wrapped properly. Hold it in my left hand. Start off with the tape in a position so it's coming out over the top. I take this, I lay it underneath so you're in that position, and I wrap. As soon as I'm in contact, I keep my thumb there. That's one wrap. Two, three, four at the bottom, right around the top for that fifth, and we are done. Now, the next thing to do is we're gonna assemble these in three separate components, and then at the end, they'll all get assembled together here at the arms. So let's do that now. <clears throat> these are just going to be going in hand tight until we go and we assemble these using the vise. A vise is not needed, but it is going to make it easier to get an even tightening on this. When we do this, we wanna make sure that the valves, the arrow is facing towards this valve 
in the off is in the upper portion. This is showing that the valve is meant to flow from the bottom through this check valve, up through, and into the arms. All right, as you can see now, we're gonna have four separate parts. We've got the 90 at the top, we've got the center valve, which is gonna be assembled with the smaller fitting in the center. On the outside, we're gonna have the larger half inch fittings, and then these will all be respectively put like this. Now, when you put these in the vise, it always helps me to keep these laid out ahead of time in this direction. That way, when I put them in a vise, I know that my ending position is gonna be the same, so that these will both line up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and we're going to stick this into the vise. You can start with either the bottom or the top. Doesn't have to go in there tight. I put it in so that the threads are just outside. And then we're just going to take and we're going to hand tighten this in. It's very important that when you're doing this that you make sure not to over tighten this. Um, worst case scenario, go on the air of doing it looser. Pressure test it, put water on it. If you have any leaks, do a quarter or a half turn from there. Um, I've done this a lot, so I know by feeling. When you get these in, essentially what I'm doing is as I get up to this point on the bottom, I'm gonna make sure that I'm lined up straight. I already know, looking at this one, that if I keep it front, we'll end up in the proper direction, so I'm lined up this way. We spin this around, and I start to feel some tension on this, and now, with hand tight, I'm lined up and I'm not moving. I've got a nice friction on this. And be careful, if you do this too tight, you can split the plastic, especially in these valves. All right, that's one side. I'm gonna flip it over, and we're gonna do the same thing. This time, I'm gonna be spinning from this part of the valve here. And as I go and do this, I'm also gonna as I turn, I'm gonna make sure that this arrow is aligned forward. It doesn't have to be, but it gives me a direction of flow when I'm looking at the unit and I know that it's been installed properly. All right, I start to feel that tension coming back in, so I'm slowing down a bit. All right, that little pop there is inside this connection here in the valve, that will tighten itself up. It's not a problem. There's just an O-ring fitting in between there. All right, we're tight at the bottom. I've got myself lined up in the front. I'm twisting this valve around to be lined up, and I already know this is lined up, so boom. We're done with this one. We're gonna replicate this on the next two. All right, we got that tension back in this part. So now I've put my hands on this, I've got no turning, so it shouldn't spin once we go in. Feels like we have enough tension that this is not gonna leak. Final one. All right. All right. 
Alright. All right, all of our proportioner components are now tight. I don't have any movement. So the next step is going to be spinning them on. So we're gonna start, put this one on. Generally speaking on this last, you're gonna get between five and six turns on this. I'm assuming that you put the five wraps of monster tape on this. And you can see I've got no movement there. I'm gonna do the same thing. When I spin this other component on, I'm gonna make sure that I hold the center, otherwise this other arm is gonna spin on me. Last thing to do is to take your 90, put it into the top, and obviously this is gonna be adjusted to where you need it in your system, so you'll put it in at the proper angle. And that completes a proportioner build from JN Equipment. Again, the most important things are wrapping five times, even consistency wrap between all of these, making sure that you have your components placed in the right direction, the, pro the proper location, so arrow on the check valves facing up, larger intakes on the outside, your soap line on the inside, make sure your three valves are correctly facing with the off near the top, this proportion is built right now with a flow from the bottom in through the top. That completes your proportioner build from JN Equipment.